Hello, welcome back. Today I wanted to show you the internal recirculation burner, I call it, for the ox oxidation zone in the gasifier. I've been interested in this thing quite a long time and with a friend of mine, friends, Oliver, which is a very enthusiastic professional gasifier builder, he uh, decided to replicate this first and his results were just amazing and I thought this design is pretty cool because it's all the heat will just radiate outwards like it always does but now it gets absorbed by the wood chips first instead of radiating out of the wall into the producer gas itself which then has to transfer its heat, heat again into the fuel somewhere else or in the air or being waste so I thought this thing was really cool it consists of uh, three holes which are uh, more or less evenly spread it's not perfect of course but it makes a slight venturi at this neck around here uh, this diameter should be as small as possible and the venturi the highest because then the wood can, can flow in between this space here so I bet for this scale the only the smaller wood chips will really work but we have to see. There's this hazer around here. Crudely made. And it's just a pipe to space it out. And you can slide, I can adjust it by putting washers. We can want to see where the venturi begins and where it ends. You want it at the highest point as possible because then the flame can burn all the tar and it radiates more heat out and stuff. So I'm very excited to check it out inside the gasifier, but first we need to check out how it works with the uh, venturi effect of it. We have a small centrifugal fan from an old broken down vacuum cleaner. And I glued this thing on it, it's a single stage. The other one is a double stage that I have, but for the amount and pressures for this experiment, for the small gasifier by the way, this one is more than enough to start it up and uh, it's 12 volts and yeah, it will always pull about ha half an amp no matter how high you go. Yeah, at some point, at, at 50 volt it's going to climb a bit, but hey, now it's, it's outside. Already in here, you can hear it pushing a bit. Now let's see what if there's any. Ah, look at that. That's a, quite a bit. It stops around three centimeters. Okay, let's move it two centimeters. Okay. Mm, Twelve volts doesn't seem to make something big. Twenty-four volts then. Again, two centimeters. Oh, that's quite a bit stronger. Look at that. Nice. In the end, yeah, it will draw it in right here. 36 volts. Oh, look at that. I hear it already once. It's Fuels are out here, and it will suck, be sucked in from yeah, four centimeters. The appropriate negative pressure to suck the gases in happens at about three or four centimeters. Then it really goes in there. And if you hold the flame uh, down, it will also make curvature inward so the wood chips because this thing is going to be horizontal like this inside a pipe like in this one so it makes a, a, a negative pressure and as a starter procedure I think I'm gonna start it up with normal nozzles 
the dual air nozzles the gas fair already has or possess then we're gonna switch them off one by one until we hear this thing roaring in theory we should ignite it a little under the pipe because then the air is coming from here and it makes a bunch of hot charring stuff and when we then add more air from here it will automatically ignite and start circulation and start dropping off and stuff and then we can close the side nozzles or we can just let them run and hire this thing up a bit to make this one as a second stage because i know now that the double air injection is the best because then you can raise the temperature again whenever the endothermic reactions go slower or even stop you can eject more air and it will just raise again so all the second air is actually extra fuel for the same amount of uh, you know thermal uh, radiation and stuff but with this thing all those thermal radiations at least in, are, are radiated in the fuel right away it's like an, an, an inside out gasifier you know normally it's from the the, out, the outside to, to inside and you have the problem with not reaching the inside sometimes with the bigger diameter invert gasifiers so that's why at least I go for stratified gasifiers because they don't have or they have less flow problems than I I invert styles but hey, I'm gonna drill a hole in the gas fire and put this thing in and uh, see what it does. One moment. 